Sometimes I'm laying in bed at night by myself in my negligee. I think to myself, from behind? Now we're going to do sentences. So those little bits of paper that you wrote the sentences on, pass them forward. Jeff's going out into the audience. Colin's already there. All right, here's what's going to happen. Ryan and Chip are going to take these sentences. They're going to put them in their pockets. They're going to start a scene. And from time to time, they're going to pull one of the sentences out, read it, work it into the scene. I know that my life is particularly complicated. Is there anyone here whose life is complicated, full of drama, you're shaking your head, yes? If you were going to give your life a name, a soap opera name, what would you call your life? Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. <laughs> <clears throat> and now, that daytime drama you all love to tune into, welcome to hell. Hello, Gary. Brenna. As you can see, I'm dressing up like a woman again. <laughs> I know, they called me. They wanted me to come down and talk to you. They said that I was the only one that you'd listen to. Look, you don't know what it's like working the door. I got to deal with all kinds of a-holes every day. Well, when we, name this, when we name this club Hell, you got to get what you expect, right? Right. What sells Hell more than a six-foot-six man dressed as a woman? Don't say that. I can say anything I want. You're beautiful. I'm not beautiful. I'm just, well, not tonight, honey. I have a headache. <laughs> Listen to me. How many licks does it take to get to the center? <laughs> to the center of your heart, to who you really are. I see the shell. I see the hard candy shell and the long stick. How many licks does it take to get inside there and decide what's really about? <laughs> That's all? I would have, I would have guessed more. It seems like more. Yes, it, but I'm not that complicated a man. <clears throat> Two licks is all it takes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why my, life, my wife left me. That's why I dress up like her. It's not that I want to dress as a woman. I just miss her so much, I feel like I should dress up like her and then look in the mirror and it feels like I'm with her. <laughs> she understands the way I wear women's clothes is so I can get closer to women. So I can understand how a woman moves and how a woman feels. How's that working out? Not too good. <laughs> Sometimes I'm laying in bed at night by myself in my negligee. I think to myself, from behind? <laughs> <laughs>